Terrence Howard in this Amy interview. Was it smart? Was it playwright? Was it acting? And it really got me thinking, man. This was really intriguing, the way he pretty much put this in words. I uh, really do inspire by Pythagoras, who was a Greek philosopher of geometry. You know, the A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We use that in geometry to find formulas and shapes. And he really talked about the, the five platonic solids, man. And it was a very interesting um, comment because, for the most part, he was really discovering his life. He said he opened up the flower of life. I really try to decipher that, but he's going to a new transition, a new dimension in this world to the point that his life purpose is not just through acting anymore i think that's what he wanted to portray to the audience is that if why is it the fact that he's walking on water tips if he has the ability to teach a whole new generation and these are the things that you have to really consider i think he's moving to a new transition in his life and it's a beautiful thing we know that he had to pay like a lot of money you know of course through child support and he had a little description with uh, people in the iron man uh, producers he wasn't really in iron man 3 in a new series and really trying to get to more various roles but after his 15 seasons of empire he's going to sit up here and retire man and the whole the josie smollett he did an emotional interview about that man his co-workers and Taraj b henson but i think terrence howard is a real high caliber individual man i mean if you really did some extensive research on the, on him um he had his uh degree in chemistry I remember he was talking about that in Sway in the morning. He had this. He actually have like a chemistry lab, and uh, where he where he actually discovered little things. Man, he's a very intelligent brother. Man, I will never forget he was in the movie with Hustle and Flow. Um, you know, calling DJ, making music. I mean, he was really pretty much just using, uh, formulating, um, alchemy. You know, have the ability to turn um, lead into gold. And I think that's what he's really trying to portray the message into. And this is really what I think about. You know, him deciphering this message. Um, just doing that little interview for the Emmy. I don't think he was really trolling. And, you know, people just want to say he's kind of crazy going through the five platonic of silence. I mean, if you study geometry, you kind of know what that is. The, the octagon, you got the tetragon, isochron, and the uh, cubes. And, and these are the things that, you know, that's really a, a, the formation uh, of life, you feel like. You know, if I can really, you know, this, it's no really straight line. It's just different curves and waves come from curves and all the energy, we all universe. It's neither create nor destroy. And, that's pretty much it. I mean, I believe that, you know, I could be wrong, but he's just pretty much saying that we're here for a season and we're here to do, you know, a certain task and then we just move on to the next thing. So um, maybe, you know, Terrence Hart, if he actually uses momentum, he can use his ability to go ahead and teach his people what he's going to teach, what subject he's going to teach. He's going to teach black history. Is he going to go back or help individuals that's trying to come up into the film industry, what to look out for, or what to do, or how to not to get manipulated through their contracts to do these movie industries in Hollywood. Uh, I'm just trying to take that into a little notion if he's really serious about this his word choice because this is a really not a a typical interview not to me individual especially uh people of his caliber would say something to an interview on, on the emmys awards man and um, into a huge platform i mean terrence how are we going here and you know teach people about finance like master p like he, he's very you know successful i mean starting his own basketball league he's doing a lot of things man and he he actually started things from the ground up how to be an independent filmmaker i mean it's these things and these tactics are these really going to help out the black community or are you just saying these things just to seem up here like very intellectual and you know what good is it if you're not going to teach the people but you just you know you're keeping all this information to yourself now it's interesting that you mentioned uh, Pythagoras. Pythagoras, you know, he kind of really believed that, you know, uh, the idea of life is pretty much loyalty and secrecy. Secrecy, you know, different, you know, societies and all different things like that. But he does have an interesting comment about um, humans evolving to interaction. You know, there's always the females and males between warm and cold, you know, um, are fast and slow. I mean, these are the different basic universal laws, you know, the platonic universal laws. But, you know, I, I just, I can really see, you know, Terrence Howard really teaching and going back to the film on way, how to be an independent director. I mean, those who wants to really make it in the entertainment industry. And because it's, it's a sad thing to me that, you know, we got people, especially in our community, that want to be interns. There's nothing wrong with that. But in the long run, man, in their career, they get deep into it, man. They get kind of, you know, manipulated by, you know, just people that's just... You know, controlling the industry in a way far as like financially um they're not you know understanding the lingo language and the lingo in their contracts and just pretty much being a slave for for the hollywood man because if, if you don't be independent you don't try to understand and work your own type of film i mean you're going to always be under someone's um, tutelage and they're 
their agenda and that's just pretty much anywhere any uh, corporation if you can really implement that and come up with a system sort of like a master class online program how to be independent filmmaker um, even though there's our various programs out there but how to you write your own movies how to act how to get a cast how to have the confidence to direct and you know uh just understand lightning and the, the audio the just everything man apply the exposition that comes into a, a movie script exposition you know comes into you know the climax you know go here you gotta have a plot you gotta have a uh, a falling resolution you know and, and a resolution a falling resolution then you gotta have a conclusion i mean these uh essential things that makes up a movie man it's just pretty much to initiate the confidence of individuals to like okay you know i can really do this on my own i don't really have to be major into like ebc nbc all these things man that i have no control of i can kind of start my own network and we're out the hands of other people but have the ability to network with people around yourself so i mean if you can really use his success and the celebrity status over the years for 37 years man uh, since he's been living that will really be so powerful and don't get me wrong i'm impressed i'm intrigued by this interview but i just don't want this to be like just all talk and like everybody yeah, yeah, yeah he crazy crazy everybody making memes on twitter but it's just really beneficial i mean because this is a lot of word places words are very powerful do he really meant to teach a whole generation of people and what subject and what manner and what, how you're going to stir them to the right direction in this world. I'm not saying be here, be a pastor, be some type of preacher, but at the same time, man, are you going to use your talents that the God has given you to do more, to help others, to actually understand and fight back the spiritual wickedness that goes on between major entertainment companies? So these are the pretty much the challenge that I would issue into Terrence Howard see if he's really going to do that but uh that's pretty much of what i think about this interview man um it's 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 okay it's, it's all right i mean i had to really do some research on these things man like you know the geometry uh perspective on this man but um you know dude the greek philosopher of Pythagoras, man but it, it's 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 okay man but i don't think he's really trolling on here i think he's really trying to get out the message here and um he's just pretty much used the emmy as a platform to, to say how he feels so um shout out to uh brother you know terrence howard man i just wish this uh really be uh, a really an imprint for individuals that have you know, inspires to be uh good filmmakers man and or one against acting because you know as you mentioned to act i'm not to really get too much in detail of the video here but you know the, the people who write these movies and the screenwriters and stuff yeah i mean you know some of them they kind of connect to the occultists and all these things man and you know and you understand the quantum physics is pretty much the fundamentals of atoms and particles and the fundamental theory of the universe but i don't want too deep into that this is just a little surface of what i observed and from this interview man it's like four minutes long you guys continue to like comment subscribe um thank you for watching this video it's gonna be more videos coming out here if you want me to do more please email me at rodney9312 at gmail.com i appreciate that man and you guys take care i'm out deuces